Hey guys, so I'm just out here enjoying a nice walk slash hike here on a snowy day. Um, anyways, I just wanted to kind of explain about, I hope some of you saw that video of me riding my bike with the um, phone on my head. So I want to explain a little bit about that. So as you know, I have Tourette's and uh, my Tourette's is very uh, physical and I have a lot of physical um, movements. And so I started balancing things on my head just out of pure accident, um, probably about four or five years ago. And it actually helped calm my tics because I would concentrate on balancing something and not to spill or to drop it or anything. And so it kind of helped um, my concentration to focus it on balancing something. And so I didn't really have the physical tics. And so that's kind of where it started. And then I uh, started trying to ride my bike with my balancing my phone to see if I could do it. And so as you saw in the video, I, I, I did it a little ways. So um, that's basically why I balance things on my head. And a lot of people probably wonder that. And so I just, um, I, I try to um, turn like a positive, uh, a negative into a positive. And so even though Tourette's is very overwhelming at times and, and demanding, uh, the balancing actually helps, um, helps me to kind of, to combat that. And also it, it, it's a cool story. A lot of people ask and a lot of people, um, see me balance things and ask why I do it. And so I get to share, um, kind of my, what I do to help with my Tourette's. So it's kind of cool. Um, also with the new year, I kind of wanted to tell you guys, it's, it's a, it's a new start. And, uh, I've been making a lot of, um, decisions on kind of where to go in my life. And, and the first step is I'm going to change a lot of my mindset. And so I hope that once I change my mindset, things will in my life will start to get better. And so uh, a little bit more about the law of attraction is I, I've been really, really focusing and, and doing a lot of research on what causes negativity or positivity to come into our life. And I think, as I said in a video a while ago, that what we dwell on is what we physically bring in our lives. And it's so true because I never really thought how it does that but once I started thinking about how how does it do this and and I just look back on examples in my life and and our our thoughts um, control our actions and so if we have negative thoughts we start to show them in negative actions or and then in, in, in negative decision making and so we bring negativity or if we have positive thoughts we focus on the positive the positive comes out in our actions and our decision making and then we bring positivity and so i'm going to change a lot of a lot of the way i've been thinking and a lot of the way i've been you know acting and and what i've been dwelling on and so i heard a great great saying that change your mind, change your life. And so I, I heard that on a podcast, but I can't remember who said it. Uh, so I apologize on that, but it's so true. And I'm going to start by the, the thoughts. And as you know, I, I do get intrusive, negative self doubt thinking. And a lot of, I figured a lot of the root of my issues have come from negative self-talk and self doubt. And it, that reflects into everything. And, and it also, the, the podcast also said, get to the root of the issues. And the root of my, my problems all boils down to how I view myself. And a lot of, for many years, I've been struggling with a negative self image. And so I'm going to start by changing those negative thoughts about myself and that negative self talk. And that's, that's where I'm going to begin is the 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 choices on you know what i choose to think about of myself and and how i choose to view myself and so 
um, it's just it's just so true that everything that I've uh, everything negative is, is not due to someone else. It's it starts with us. It starts with you know how we view ourselves, and so uh, I'm changing that, and and hopefully things will get better. And so, anyways, I like I said, I'm starting that new animal blog. I should have a the first post. Um, coming up soon so please read and share also please like the videos, share the videos um, thank you again for the support i'll see you next time